Well, my name is Charles L. Early. I was born in 1949 in Baltimore, Maryland at John Hopkins Hospital. Uh, I spent some earlier years taken to North Carolina, which is where my family is from. And from the third grade on, I uh, grew up in New York City in Harlem. At that point, I had started to try to do some artwork and just to do something in a class or in, a, in the apartment. And I was very surprised at how well it came out. And at that point, uh, in seeing what was happening, uh, with no training, my mother said that this is a God-given talent. And I knew that if she said something like that, that that was the highest level that it could uh, be reflected at. So then I began to put more time into it and to focus on it uh, in a casual type of way, but realizing that it was something meant for me to do. And in New York, I was able to... Um, see just a fantastic city of people that were like very professional in all regards doing all kinds of things so the example of success was in front of you in all places i was moving on thinking that i was either going to try to be a musician or athlete or a professional artist or all three so i went to a high school of art and design in new york i was lucky enough to be accepted there I, you had to um, enter a contest to be in it and got in there and the professionalism of the students and the school was just fantastic. It was, uh, it was absolutely professional. It was, uh, I went to three universities and this high school program, curriculum and professional uh, situation was at even a higher level than all three of the universities that I went to. But it was considered to be the number one school in the world for artists. It was called High School of Art and Design on 57th Street and 2nd Avenue. It was, uh, it was an incredible place right in the heart of so much that was happening all over New York. It was so dynamic and also I was interested in architecture. And being in New York City, which has the largest percentage of uh, large, fantastic buildings, I guess, in the world, uh, you're seeing examples of tremendous architecture everywhere and so that was also but there was many interests and uh, the beauty too was to see people who was absolutely professional who were at the top of their game and those who were trying to be about that and so you know you knew if you was going to be in this profession whatever profession it was you had to really be working on it and really be striving because there were other people who were working 10, 12, 15 hours a day to develop their craft over 10, 20, 30 years in some cases, or 40 years, and still on it. And sometimes, even after that much time, of course, you're realizing there's always new horizons. No matter what you're able to achieve, there are always new horizons that will be ahead of you, no matter where you're at. In your development, there's always levels that are to still yet to be experienced if you are to be there. There are moments of success, and there are many of those. But you're on a road that's endless when it comes to the possibilities that exist.